Ten years ago was also a time that Cincinnati would secure its place as a scholastic mecca for chess. Queen City Classic recently held its 10th annual tournament at Paul Brown Stadium. The excitement it generates works together with the chess programs locally, improving grades and doing so much more. On an unusually warm day in the middle of February, the children of Sharpsburg Elementary in Norwood stream down the stairs, much the same way that the rays of the sun seem to stream down to earth. It created a day perfect for the kicking or throwing of a ball. Yet these kids wanted to get back inside because of their love for the 64 squares, 32 pieces, and the endless mysteries of chess. You need to own the middle. These pawns need to come out. Fifth grade science teacher Marshall Dykes is the founder of the Norwood Knights Chess Club. Our first club, 10 years ago, there was like four kids in it. Now Norwood has chess in all of the elementaries, the middle school, and the high school. A little over 120 kids in the Norwood City Schools are, are, are playing chess every single week. And as Dykes is fully aware, chess is like steroids for the brain. Well, there's been some research that suggests that when you play chess, you use the same portion of your brain you do when you do a lot of advanced mathematics. In fact, the body of research is quite large. Here are just a few examples. A Texas study showed twice the improvement from non-chess players in reading and math. A study in the New York City Schools showed that chess enhanced reading performance. And a New Jersey educator found that chess improved self-esteem after a year of exposure. And on top of nurturing the minds of these children, Katie Dykes, Marshall's wife and fellow fifth grade science teacher, says chess is bringing them together, too. I think that if you look in Norwood, sometimes the kids don't always get along, and sometimes it's based on race, um, sometimes it's based on the socioeconomic thing, or the parent involvement, things like that. And because of Chess Club, everybody kind of just comes. They usually start coming because of the teachers. Like, Mr. Dykes is kind of like a legend in Norwood. So kids will come at first for that, and then they start wanting to stay for the actual game. So I think that it, everybody comes together and kind of can play it, and it just makes everything easier. And it has helped transform the life of 11-year-old Bailey Vanelli. Why is it fun for you? Because it gives me something to do and I can stay out of trouble. Can you give me an example of the things you might have done? Throwing rocks at cars. Do you do that anymore? No. Why not, you think? Because I got more mature and then I just stopped. A trip home to Bailey's house and a conversation with his mother, Dina, bears that out. Chess has definitely helped him transform from a lack of concentration to being able to focus on things. From C's and B's in school, Bailey is now earning A's and B's. And as he played this game against his older brother, a game he eventually won, he was just days away from the biggest day of his young chess life. He would play in one of the largest youth chess tournaments in the country, the 10th annual Queen City Classic, held right here at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. This tournament is a gem. It's simply one of the top tournaments in the United States for kids, absolutely. And it's now the 10th year, so it's really an institution. And I'm, I'm sure Cincinnatians would love to know that they have this kind of institution sitting here in Cincinnati. It's, it's well known around the country. For the 700 plus participants, the Queen City Classic offers some impressive hardware. So one look at young Bailey's face and you know there is more driving him than a mere trophy. Because it is here that you can see he is the furthest removed from the boy who threw rocks at cars. Why do you think you were throwing rocks at the cars? I was mad. Yeah. Does chess help with that? Yes. Can you explain why? Because it helps me calm down and then um, when I get mad I throw fits and then like, so I really don't throw fits here. Young Bailey won that game and finished the day with an even score of two wins, two losses, and a draw. And as he grows in chess and as a person, perhaps the answer is a resounding yes. A board game can change the world.